comfy dance, my sweet as beautiful cosmic witchy comfy dance. Welcome back to another episode of Confidently Insecure, the podcast where we are absolutely sure we don't know everything. And I am so excited for this episode. I am here to introduce Maddie Murphy, the founder slash owner of the cosmic revolution. You guys have probably seen it everywhere. The cosmic RX Maddie. We were just talking about how the fuck do we introduce you as like (laughs) spiritual bitch warrior of the stars astrologer question mark. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Well, Kelsey, that's it. Basically question mark cosmic witchy things happening in my life. Yes. Question mark. Yes. So happy. So honored to be here. Oh my God. I know the confidants just like me are absolutely obsessed with what type of content you are making. I've been following you guys for a hot minute ever since, uh, on the cosmic RX, which is like a branch of your brand, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, you guys posted those like, uh, star sign, like what it says about you kind of thing. And it went viral. Everyone was motherfucking posting it. And then now I get your newsletter, which gives me like witchy cosmic updates about like how to carry on with my week coming up all the lunar solar fucking shit. Like your brand is gorge, hollow, feminine, powerful, just cool as shit. How the fuck do you feel about building such a cool ass brand? Uh, first of all, you are so hyping me up. I it's love this. True. I have chills. My it's just a little true. hard. I'm feeling this <laughs> convo right now. I love it. Uh, um, say it. Yes. No, every day I say like, wow, my younger self would just be so proud of me that after many twists and turns and making oh. very, you know, a lot of wrong decisions and working in some very toxic mm-hmm. low vibe places. I'm like, yeah, vibe. now I get to like make magic every day and talk to amazing people like yourself and talk to <sighs> the moon and translate energy and talk about like spirit guides and ghosts and crystals and um, but with some really badass people. And yeah, yeah, it's so much fun. It feels like every day I'm like, even though on the days where it's hard, because you know, being an entrepreneur and yes. doing their own, there's like an on relatable, a hundred percent, just shit and always not really glamorous at all. No. But I pull back and I'm like, yeah, but what I get to do is really fucking cool. Like, amazing. Wow. I forgot to mention also that I get the daily text message affirmations, which, bitch. <laughs> When I tell you I am like waiting for them every day and especially because now I'm on the East Coast. So they come a little bit later for me where I'm just like, it sets my motherfucking mood. Like here, let me just pull up a few. I might have actually gotten mine for today and haven't seen it yet. Oh, look right there. Boom. Cosmic RX. Good morning. Today, our affirmation is I am fucking fierce as hell. <laughs> so I perfect. left one the other day. It was good morning. Today, our affirmation is I release other people's perception of me and I follow my bliss. Oh, I mm. actually, I took a bunch of like what I've learned just from the website and stuff. And I'm putting it in my new book. I'm talking about like how you need to sign up for the cosmic. Uh, oh my God. Because it just really, truly has changed the way that I approach every single day. And I cannot like stress enough how much the confidants need to just go sign up for like not only your free workshops, but the Instagram. It'll just put a fucking vibe and aura on your day that you can always come back to that I love. So, oh my God, gushing, gushing, gushing. Let's talk about like how do you feel that this whole like vibe has become so strong in the last or like so mainstream in the last like even year right absolutely yeah I think um I mean one I am so thank you for all that one oh my is, God. is the number one thing thank yeah. you for all of that thank yeah. you for you just put stuff out in the world and you make stuff it's and you're true like, I hope someone's like you know how it feels like is someone yeah is anyone listening? Does anyone like this? Are we cool? Are we good? No. Answers it's fuck fine. yes. Like <laughs> truly, <laughs> if these ever stop, I'm gonna be devastated. Oh my god, I appreciate that so much. And yeah, these are all everything we share at Cosmic RX um, are like daily, what I said, mm. cosmic wellness mm. tips, cosmic empowerment that 
things that help change my life. Like yeah, tuning in to some of these things that shift your energy, Ooh. get your mind in a different spot, help get more in like your body, own your inner mm. cosmic bad bitch. Because like, oh. let's be honest, the world is designed to like strip us of that cosmic bad bitch energy. Amen. So, um, you know, getting to put that out in the world, we started this project, just, I was running other businesses, mm. very long story, but I was like, I'm like a serial entrepreneur. So I had yes. these other two businesses we love. and I was doing on the side, like moon circle work and, mm. you know, slinging tarot cards and Ooh. reading charts very like casually on the side. <laughs> yeah. And my now, you know, current business partner who is amazing, a dream and love one of the most like creative force of nature people. Um, her name's Audrey. As she approached shout me, like, out Audrey. Oh, shout out to Audrey for making this happen or else I would still just be like in a shack oh, by the We love a good team. With like 10 people around me. Like, ah! like, I, I was always that person like, I don't have a website or a business card. Like if someone wants a tarot reading, they'll find me, I guess. Like I don't oh. know. No, Um, you needed someone to implement all your powers to the world. She is like, no, we're bringing this out to people. People need this. Um, And when we started, no one had like, you know, obviously there's some people who have low key been into this forever or someone's like, yeah, my mom into astrology. I'm like, yeah, of course she is. Like that's the beginning of time. Yeah. That's the beginning of time. And so many people are into it, but either don't like feel comfortable talking about it a few Mm -hmm. years ago or, or they were like, so out there in that, that it was like weird space. You're like, "Yeah." yeah. I'm a New Yorker. So I'm also like, I ah. get shit done. I also have to like run my business. And like, yes, I have to like two feet on the ground. I have to like navigate the subway system. Yes. I can't oh be my like, God. You know, out there in like fairyland all the time. Right. Um, so I was like, how do we integrate like this kind of practical magic and support people? A few years ago, it was like right up, right before the election. I was like, we need to get this oh, out for people. Oh my God. It's like something is coming, something is coming. And we need people, especially like, women, femmes, anyone mm-hmm. besides white men, straight, <laughs> gendered men to be like in their fucking power and like yes. getting together and like changing uh. the world, but I don't know what it means. And we need to do this. And like everything was just this like weird pull, like mm. tap into this, um, but also make it accessible for people and make yes. it people who are like you, like crazy uh. visionaries, entrepreneurs, business um, owners, cause like that's how we're going to change the world through the stories that are being told, mm. through the products that are being sold, through, mm. you know, who we're hiring, how we're spending our money. I'm like mm. the old, like new agey people who are just, you know, all moved off the grid. And like, yep. I'm like, good for you, but yes. like, we have shit to get done now. Like this generation, yes. I'm like we have shit to do. So I need huh. to tell people like, this is your superpower. This is why you're a bad bitch. This is oh your shadow. God. Some of the self-limiting shit that's <sighs> taking you along the way. Now go out and like be a force in the world and own yourself. Yeah. We started, and needless to say, people are like, What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> well, you say the election, was it the 2016 or this one? 2016. So wow. it was like on the cusp, and like I really I didn't want to know, but I I had like this overwhelming feeling. I was like, no, Trump's gonna get elected because <sighs> we have to go through a collective shadow work Ooh. based on the astrology. And but even when you know it. I always tell people get having astrology understanding forecasts is like seeing a sneak peek of a movie. Yeah. You see, oh, okay, the coming attraction. Cool. Cool. And then you're in it. You're like, Oh my God. And like, you can't gonna- change it. Yeah. You can't. I'm like kind of mentally prepared, but not yes. at all prepared. I'm like, this is really intense. Um, so, but I, I'm so grateful that we had that little mm. bit of foresight and then same thing right before COVID everything was like in my, you know, Oof my spirit guys, my whole crew was like, get things online, do things online, do things digital. And I was like, how are you going to do like a moon circle in a zoom room? That's not really like vibey, but, Um, but we set it up before and then COVID hit. And then I understood why, like all of the courses we were doing, all the certifications, all the ceremonies and group work online, people just like you said, like was like floodgates open. People were like, I'm home. I'm I oh. think about my life and I want oh. to have time for this or I'm moving back with my parents and I realize Ooh. I have some my inner child work to do and Ooh. I just need somewhere to go. Um, so it was a very pivotal moment for us in the in what we were doing. The people, boom. We were like, it was like that if you build it, they will come. We were like yes. building this thing for a few years and it was kind of getting traction and people are paying attention. 
But yeah, then like March, April of last year, it really popped off, popped off, popped off and and so grateful and just so grateful for everyone who took a chance on because we still are like, how do we describe what we do? Like you said, the intro, I'm like, I had no idea. (laughs) I'm just like, you need this in your life. It's cool, witchy, vibey shit. If you're into stars and your sign, like, yes, but it's not, you know what? It's like, I hate those emails that come like every other day or like, you know, that I'm signed up for all this shit that I'm just like, I don't I read the title and I throw it away. This for some way reason has surpassed that like garbaging email and comes to me and I get so excited and like, I can't wait to have 20 minutes to read it and like go through the article and see like it. I just can't express how different it feels from other markety uh shit like it almost feels like i'm not trying to sell you anything i'm just giving you information about like (laughs) what the world is what's happening if you want it it great it's in this really fucking cute sparkly package that like oh aesthetic uh steph you are describing me to a t yes okay like my business partner's like, I started a newsletter. I'm like, I fucking hate emails. Like, I hate emails. Why? I hate newsletters. I hate selling stuff. So we are in that unique position where we started just doing stuff. And we're like, really not. We have some stuff, some courses, and we have a membership. Yeah. But it took us like so long to even sell anything. It was more, I was literally like, here's just stuff that I think everyone should just know. So when I started yeah. studying astrology, I was like, how are we all walking around like just muggles? Like functioning. Not knowing muggles. What's happening. Like, well, let's talk about it. Like. How do you, what is your process in absorbing all of the shit that's coming from the universe and being able to funnel it in an accessible, like when you said that, I was like, uh, 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 I like that. That's what I'm talking about. It's so accessible and it doesn't make it seem fucking exactly what you were talking about. Like old age, like in the woods shit where I'm just like scared of these people. It really like how, what is your process of absorbing and delivering as someone who has like oh, such power? <laughs> Thank you. I mean, it's true. You're so funny. No, um, I, you know, again, it's just about um, you being open. The first part of my path was like learning every single thing that was wrong with me and every projection, every issue I had, every way I, Mm. you know, all my negative shit showed up because if you're going to do anything where you're like helping other people. Yeah. The universe will be like, oh yeah, really? Really? Yeah, you want to you want to teach about it. boundaries? Oh, yeah. really? oh you oh, think cute. you're so cool with your self confidence? Mm, <laughs> yeah. How about this? <laughs> how about that? And so uh, a lot of that, like clearing, I can see why you know the business took a few years to take off because mm. I was like, you had to, having to work shit. through my yeah. own shit. Oh my god, so much. Um, so then bringing us to you know current day for the astrology, um, I was always very into it like personally, like, yes, this is cool. Like, this is me. Um, it wasn't until I had a really in-depth reading in like my mid to late twenties where it like Mm. hit hit me like a brick, like, Oh my God. Um, but of course, Mm. because I'm a slow learner, I didn't really pay attention to that information. So like my Saturn return imploded my life (gasps) and my, Oh my God. No, I know. know. You're, You're like, I know it's coming and I've been seeing it, but here it is. I still have to go through it. Exactly. You can get this sneak peek and the comment, like the yeah. coming attractions from the cosmos. But when it happens, it's like, oh, um, so then I was like, all right, I committed after my Saturn return to listening to the guidance, listening to the intuition, even if it was like uncomfortable. Um, and so a lot of it has just been like flexing your muscle. Like, I think this is what the astrology is saying right now. Mm. And then I like tell someone or tell some, like, you know, speak it out loud. That's a big mm-hmm. part of flexing your intuitive muscle mm. is like speaking on it, not just holding mm. it inside of you. Mm-hmm. And then things were, they were like lining up and a lot of astrology, especially, um, I think everyone's a little psychic. It's one of my key pillars in life is mm-hmm. I think that everyone has psychic powers, but just come in different ways. Oh, sorry. One second. My, no. my microphone like dropped off and now it's back. So we're good. Here we okay, go. We're back. Hi. We're back. We're live. Every life. I agree. Everyone has the ability to do this. Everyone, like how you harness it, right? How you harness it. And for me, I think I always had that intuitive sense, but it wasn't until I needed astrology to like mm-hmm. justify it and point sure. to something. Like if I was just like, I think something weird is going to happen in 2020, everyone would be like, okay. Or like, what do you mean by that? Right. Yeah. But looking at the astrology, astrology is basically a study of history. So the astrology mm-hmm. we're in for 2020 was the same astrology of, you know, the Black Plague, um, certain things in the Middle Shit. Ages, uh, World War One, oh, no. the AIDS um, epidemic when it launched. So you're like looking at it as like an astrologer. And you're like, this is something 
something is happening in 2020. Um, And so just practicing, studying, reading, and then how I filter everything is through like pop culture. Like, I feel like I am that person. I'm like, break it down for me. No, break it down for me one more time. Like Like, explain like I'm five. Like like I'm five. Like explain to me. With emojis. Like emojis and (laughs) chips. Literally. Yes. And you, that's what makes it accessible. And you're young. You're like in the know you're of the times you got your finger on the pulse of like pop Keep culture the aesthetics and the kids, yeah, yeah, the tax and the, the kids with their and shit. The and and the- like, I'm so, I say it all the fucking time on this podcast. The generation behind us is harnessing and owning that and like uh-huh. leaning into it so much more than ours. I'm 30. And it's like, I know so many women who are finally did that oh god my mic did it again i'm so sorry i think it's my wire is a little funky the wire fr- fritzy funky yeah i'm like just not gonna touch it i've also been podcasting non-fucking stop so i feel like maybe i oh wore god, out girl. the wire i'm gonna do my <laughs> best like, i'm to tired do- i know i'm gonna do my best to just like- remain perfectly still or maybe it's our cosmic witchiness <gasps> i think it's the witching no i mean whenever i talk to really powerful people weird shit will happen like my computer ah. will just like Yes. And you're like, this That's has never it. happened to me before. And my witch neighbor who I, I've had on this podcast before, it's the exact same thing. When we get together, technology farts out just completely. And we're like, we have to go back. Like you go to your house. I'll go to mine. And we'll like redo this in an hour. But I think it's the exact same vibe. Yeah, but speaking of happening. like, speaking of that, I think it's like, like you said, it's pop, it's mixing pop culture. It's mixing like the pain you've gone through to help other people and like you can't be a servant leader without I mean I heard this quote this morning on the daily stoic that was like not every reader needs to lead but every leader needs to read and it's like Mm -hmm. you're constantly studying constantly updating yourself and you really are a servant leader like you really are here to just like service people and help them become the best versions of themselves and so what you said about cosmic wellness which i'm like oh that's totally gonna be the title of this episode like what is that and why is it important to have in your life Mm, such a good question and yeah i Mm. love that quote and um that's what i'm a virgo sun pisces moon so my astrology is taking pisces universe metaphysical, mystical, magical, the things that cannot be named and right. are wordless. And then Virgo's like, yeah, we're going to have to break it down to words yeah. uh-huh. and break it down into real talk and give it to me in 30 seconds or less exactly. because I got shit to do. So, um, so cosmic wellness, um, I, you know, a few years ago did what a lot of people did kind of was like, Hey, wellness, what is this? Mm. Um, in 2012, I went and I got my integrative IIN health coach certification. Cute. I opened a cold press juice company. Oh my God. Oh my God. Tinctures and smoothies. And Let's go. Um, it was so fun and it was so um, eye-opening. And I always learned my biggest life lessons through my businesses. So I learned Oof, a lot preach. about myself. Hey. And I realized that I was doing a lot of things like preaching about juice and being healthy. And I was not. I was like drinking my Dunkin' uh, Donuts, 100 ounces hey, of coffee on an empty <laughs> Not sleeping. Oh no! Not eating well because I was, you know, just wound up. Um, and then I started just thinking about, like, I know it sounds funny, and no shade to anyone who's in like a traditional wellness sphere, like yoga and green juice. But the whole thing was very, like, I was very just over it. I was, I was a performative. Yeah. It felt very, like, two dimensional. What business? Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, I don't want someone. My chart is like runs through like rebellion energy so I was like don't tell me what to do I don't want to do a morning routine every day right. like you right. want me to do the same thing every morning I'm like go fuck yourself like I have things to do and so the type of wellness the type of practices that started to speak to me um were more witchy um things that were more intuitive like mm-hmm. self-guided mm-hmm. and the things that you know we don't not always taught growing up like right. hey you have an energy field take care of it. Um, Hey, your mind is really powerful, but it's also kind of a messy space. So get that right with what's going on in there. Um, Affirmation work, Mm. um, working with moon and understanding Mm. that we have phases and cycles we go through Mm. that work with the moon. We're not just meant to be these like capitalist automatons productivity. (laughs) Seven to seven every day. But like, and um, so cosmic wellness, yeah, it's just like wellness for taking part of the, taking care of the part of you that's like bigger, the, mm. you know, the part of you that's infinite, the part mm. of you that's ancient and the part mm. of you 
that has so much, like so much to offer the world, but we just mm. like, we do, we forget that we like sparkle and we shine and we forget oh. we have these cosmic superpowers. Yeah. So this is not like an elevator pitch. I would never say this like an, like, like an investor look at me like, what? But I'm like, I always think of cosmic wellness is how you like, it's like self-care for your stardust. Like that part Ooh. of you is like, yummy and like magnetic and Beautiful. you're in that flow I'm never going to look at you and be like yeah your life's gonna be perfect from doing right. these practices no. but my hope is that you would tap into more alignment I feel like at this point you should be able to do this ad with me because what do I believe in? Affordable therapy for all. This isn't just an ad read. This is a company that is very close to my heart. Y'all know I'm talking about BetterHelp. It is the app that has facilitated great therapeutic matches for not only me, but a ton of my friends and family. And don't worry, it is available worldwide. They are licensed professional counselors who are specialized in things like anger, LGBT matters, gay, grief, self-esteem, I hate myself, trauma, that was a ghost uh, traumatizing you, and sleeping. (laughs) Everything you share is confidential, convenient, it's professional, professional, yeah, sure, and affordable. You can check out testimonials posted daily on their site, and my favorite part about it is if you don't like your therapist, baby, it's like Bumble, you can just swipe right through to get a new one, new match, get matched in under 24 hours when you sign up. So many people have been using BetterHelp that they are recruiting additional counselors in all 50 states. I wonder if that pandemic has anything to do with it. And I want you to start living a happier life today. As a listener, you'll get 10% off your first month by visiting betterhelp.com slash CI. Join over 1 million people taking charge of their mental health. Again, that's BetterHelp. H E L P dot com slash C I. Confidants, whether you work for yourself or you're part of a team, it's time to create ate some stuff. Got to keep those creative juices flowing even during a pandemic. I want you to be using Issue. Issue is an all in one platform to create and distribute beautiful digital content from marketing materials to magazines, flip books and brochures and more because like PDFs are so outdated. Do not send me a PDF. Issue makes content better. Issue also works seamlessly with tools you already use like Canva. I know all you Insta hosts be using Canva, Dropbox, where my professional BBs at and InDesign, where all my artistics at. (laughs) Make it once and distribute it everywhere without reformatting. Your content's already optimized for engagement and ready to share. Issue helps out creators, marketers, designers, and anyone who wants to make contact that stands out. So you can get started today with issue for free. Or if you sign up for a premium account, you will get 50% off when you go to issue.com slash podcast and use promo code confidently. That's I S S U U dot com slash podcast and use promo code confidently at checkout for your free account or 50% off your premium account. I have a premium account. Join me. That's issue.com slash podcast with promo code confidently. Back to the show. All right. More authenticity, more ways to how to like self-govern and how to be like, you know what? (sighs) I'm having a bad day. I don't have to internalize this. Practices. I can shake some shit out. I can reclaim my sovereign self tomorrow. And sometimes cosmic wellness is just things like listening to your cycle. Like, yeah, tonight's a Netflix and binge Mm -hmm. night for me. And like getting some Talenti uh, gelato to the face. Like the, it's like not restrictive wellness. It's like about expansion and listening to yourself in every step of the way. Um, And combining all these modalities that I've spent like 15 years studying into one place. Uh. Hold on. Let me, I'm going to put, yeah, you're, let me pause play again. Oh my God. We just have to take a break because our like energies is just blowing up this wire frame of my computer, but like fully believe that that's what it was. So it's fixed now. Sorry for the inconvenience, but I love what you were saying. Like everything you were saying is something that I related to on like, I was always really connected to my star sign. I was always like growing up being like everyone telling me you're such a Leo. You're such a Leo. Like you're the definition of a Leo. And then not really understanding beyond that. And I love what you said about, you know, being taught that we are energy, that we have an energy field. Like 
wouldn't it be so fucking cool if in like public school in kindergarten you are taught about your energy and you're taught about like your stardust and your sign and how to be the best version of yourself because I think so many people know that or or they believe that you know astrology is just a bullshit way to connect to a community and find like, it's like religion. It's like, if it makes you feel better, great. It, as long as it's not hurting <laughs> anyone, like that's how I've heard it described before. And I've been like, I don't feel like that. <laughs> I feel very like singular and connected to it individually. Like who fucking care? I love when I meet other people who are into it, but it's not something that I'm like, you know, living and, and dying by. It's more like it's, an addition to my life that makes me feel like the best version of myself. And like, I know that that's what you're also striving for. And I think like what's been happening lately with people on social media and TikTok and stuff who are leaning into that and then in turn releasing that to people. Oh my God, it's doing it again. I'm going to fucking throw this thing out the window. Oh, okay. I'm going to do my best to like play with the cord. Stop we need it. someone out there who's like a tech I'm whiz like, to make I, tech for witches because I swear <laughs> it, it my fucking let me pause this again. I'm confidants. This is so crazy because I've never had this happen. I've had it happen like a little bit before, but I've never been like the energy is so crazy in this room right now. So we're just gonna vibe with it. We're just gonna be like, this is what the universe wanted this episode to feel this like. Is, it's just- <laughs> exactly. Hackly, sparkly fucking shit. This is the energetic (sighs) experience curated by the universe for you. I'm not going to fight it. So here we go. I release it. And see, this kind of shit I never would have done even like a year ago. I would have been like, oh my God, let me pause. Maybe we should reschedule. Like, oh God, I feel so I'm wondering if you feel anxious or bad. And then like even the other day you had that quote that was like, you know, I have to release what other people think of me. It's not my business what other people think about me. And it's like, if the person gets it, they get, they get it. And you find your people and hundred percent. That's the fastest way to fucking drain your energy and your stardust. It's just like the constant, like, what is everyone else thinking of me? Yes. What's everyone doing. Um, so yeah, I love that. And that's definitely been a big lesson of the last year is like, just go with do the, your shit. Go, do, it, do you? Yes. yes. And I mean, speaking of doing you, I want to talk a little bit more about like the cosmic revolution like site itself because like I said it is such a vibe when you go you can like decode your birth chart you can sign up for free classes you can like I was doing I think the first one which is the self-love what's it called the um real self-love course or the authentic yes. manifesting yeah, oh those both. Are great starters. I don't both. know <laughs> but like one huge thing that I learned in the course was that with manifesting if you aren't like setting the right vibe in your life, like, right. If you want more peace or money and you have like fear around that thing, it's never, you're not manifesting correctly. It's like, you have to actually implement peace and, um, wellness into your life in order to attract that thing. Because like my mindset shift changed really big in, in how I thought about things coming to me or like what I deserved or like, what is my authentic path? So that's like just something little I learned in your course, but like, like such a good student. It's so true. Oh my God. Thank you. I'm like the grasshopper. Um, (laughs) Tell me about like how you designed these things that like clearly works for people. Yes. Again, a lot of just trial and error in my own life. And then um, I had this really amazing group of women um, in Montauk, New York, where I also spend a lot of my time and have a great community there. And again, a few years ago before even we started the Cosmic RX Cosmic Revolution brands. I was like, I think, like I was literally having like downloads of like, I think um, we have way more power than we are led to believe. And yes. just started, um, I read this book, Creative Visualization by uh, Shakti Gawain, or I think that's how I pronounce her name. And I was like, oh, damn, my mom growing up always talked about like vision boards and manifesting. And mm-hmm. a, a certain part of it, I was like, I don't really get it because why aren't we all just manifesting the things millions of dollars right (laughs) right like what um and then i realized you know manifestation isn't just you know making a wish list from the universe going up to the driver drive through window right like placing your order it's more about it's work it's work and that's what's like um you know like i don't want to 
right in anyone's parade, but like, <laughs> it's not just like, yeah, you show up. I want this thing. No, um, it's a lifelong process of yes. stepping into the most embodied, aligned, authentic, mm really like liberated and clear version of yourself. Yeah. And then also the second part of that is so that you can hold that clear unencumbered space for other people to do yes. that too. It's not just about me. Yes. Self-care is so important, but self-care is supposed to like lead into then like community care. So I'm manifesting yes. yourself. It's like, okay, then what are you going to do with it? So it takes a lot more work to manifest from an authentic space than just, right. you know, a vision board's a great spot starting off with, you know, just having the awareness of like, oh, I can manifest is a great place to start. Yes. I, won't, I won't lie. That's a fantastic. I'm right. like, yes, you're getting it. You're steps you, ahead. You've, you've cracked the code. You're out yes. of the matrix. You're in it. Cool. Seriously. Good for you. Yeah. But now it's like, okay, we have to work on the conscious and subconscious minds. You mm. know, what's the stuff that we've held on to since childhood about, mm. you know, our whole life is a projection of our beliefs and perceive the world. So starting there, really wow. important. And Damn. then- moving into like the body, like how do you, how do you feel in your day-to-day -day body? How do you, mm. um, are you even able to hold on to emotions? Like, can you let your body feel good? Um, can you open up to realizing that you're worthy of the things that you want to manifest and Damn. pleasure and feeling good and joy and tapping into um, consistency in your practice and also thinking about like why you want to manifest something. It's always the first the first step I said, I'm like, why do you want to manifest this partner, this money, this house, this job? Mm. Um, and starting there and then like working on like becoming the mm. thing you want to manifest. Do you want to manifest a partnership because you want to feel loved? Well, great. Your assignment for the next short while is to be to the embodiment love of yourself. love <laughs> and love yourself, woo yourself, seduce yourself, yeah. uh. know everything, wine dine yourself um, oh. and doing that in a really authentic way. And yeah. I just, you know, I love, I'm a Virgo. I love a good process. I love a good oh. checklist because yes. my biggest pet peeve is I used to get like spiritual readings, you know, whatever, Akashic record readings, tarot, astrology. I love them all. But then I would walk away from the reading and be like, wait, what? Now what? Am what? I now to do what? With all of that? Now what? Like, yeah. like well, now what? So yeah. and that's why, you know, we started off with Cosmic RX. Cause I'm a Virgo. I'd be like, I'll do a reading for someone. Here's an RX. Here's the like, ah. The thing you should focus on the one next thing and authentic manifesting that mini course and the real self love course were all me sitting there, you know, in my apartment, at like three in the morning, being like, uh, these are really big concepts, but I think people, if we just have a framework, a few yes, steps to jump off process. on, and I'm not going to say doing this course one time. Oh no. Bing, sure. bang, boom. You love yourself yeah. forever. It's like a yeah. journey, you know, it's a journey. Yeah. But this is a great starting off point and yes. to approach things. Um, I love psychology. Like same. I studied it in college. I love like neuroscience. I love the way yes. the mind works. Yeah, um, same. And so I'm like, oh, I love mindset work. But then you're like, okay, mindset's one thing. But then we have to look at like the subconscious mind and your energy field because I love talk therapy. Shout out to my therapist. Yes, same, Years same. of therapy. Love it. Same, same. It's like, okay, I've talked about it. Cool. I'm aware of my patterns but now those things still like live in my energy field or they're still there. So now it's like committing to your spiritual self and cleansing those and being aware of them, knowing how to like move and work with your own energy. Yeah. Then it's like, then in manifesting and in self-love, then it's like the next part is like, okay, now your body needs to be on board. And like, how do you embody that? How do you bring it into like the physical in your every day? Mm. So, um, my Virgo is always looking at things from like, yeah, your mindset, your spirit, your body, but in a different way than like mind, body, yes. spirit. I was like, yes, I get it. Yes. Everyone says mind, body, spirit. Yes, yes, yes. This is like different. a different, different. But well, like, I love how you said, <laughs> I love how you named it the Cosmic Rx because it's, it's not going to like fix you, right? If there was a one cure-all pill, one cure-all practice, we would all do it and like we'd all be robots. That's not fun. Um, I love that this really is just like an addition to who you are in your life. It's not going to consume you and take you over and make you be like that witchy fucking, I mean, maybe, I don't know, maybe your calling is to do that, but it does really feel like a supplement to my life. And that is like, who girl, you're hitting me hard with the body stuff because I'm someone mm -hmm. who lives in like severe chronic pain and I'm actually having like a super mm -hmm. bad flare, which is why you probably see me like fucking with my face today. And I just want to name that. But like, it's 
something that I don't get from traditional therapy. It's something that I don't get from my pain management. It's not something I get from my pain nerve medication. It's something that's like, I believe the universe, the gods, whatever, put this pain in my life to teach me something very big mm. about body and self-love. And I really wasn't someone who like grew up with body issues. I never like, you know, identified as someone with an ED or like, you know, I was pretty just, I, you know, I was an athlete. I was whatever. The body is the body. Yay. I never thought about it. I think about it all day, every day. It has forced me to look into neuropsychology and, you know, uh, neurolinguistic programming and neurodivergence and f- fucking all of that stuff that like I never would have been aware of had I not been plagued with this shit. And even like this morning when I was driving home um, from, we had to do some errands this morning. I told my partner like, Hey, I'm having a flare. But then, you know, two years ago, I would have just been like, Oh fuck, I'm having this flare. Like I have a huge day. Oh, I have to do three podcasts today. I just want to like cancel everything. And instead we started going, I love you body. Thank you body. You are working your best. You've carried me by. And I was like, well, who am I? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Dude, like I'd be laughing at myself, you know, like a few yes. years ago. And I, I'm loving what you're saying that it's like, this is not something that you do want and it changes everything. This has been a process for me that I feel like I'm still just coming through the curtain, that sparkly curtain of like, oh, there's so much, you know, I just got chills when I thought about that. Like I'm coming through the other side and this has been years of like dabbling and not really understanding or like, you know, just watching a TikTok about like, uh, alternate realities or whatever. And I've just been like, well, whatever that exists. Sure. For some people, they fucking seem like they smoke a lot of weed, but uh, whatever. But now I'm like, Oh, I am only feeling better by implementing this in my life. I'm not feeling worse. Like even when I do have to do the shadow work or the child work and I'm going into that trauma, I feel safe. I feel cute. I feel cool. I feel sparkly. Like it's a safe, community I think and I think it's only getting stronger and bigger and better which like is a testament to its um use right like it's if it wasn't working for 100%. people be doing it a hundred percent a hundred percent people ask me they're like do you really feel okay that like you're a lot of people don't believe in this stuff yeah. I'm like those aren't my people then right now because like I don't waste I have so much energy in a day I have so much battery to give Oof. I'm not gonna waste that on people I have people whose lives are being transformed from the inside yes. out. Like you said, everything you're stepping into, I'm like, that's all I need. And I want to keep yeah. investing my energy in that direction. 100%. Um, so I love that. And I, I love that you're just like, singing, shouting to your body. <laughs> it's so, it's so true. And my and boyfriend who's I a, like, love it. this white guy from Boston is like, yes, body. Thank you for caring. Like, I'm just like, what is happening? <laughs> And it's funny to watch from an outsider's perspective, but like, listen, science is showing that Mm -hmm. like a version of what I was doing is, you know, fucking credible. Like, you know, as I'm writing my second book, which is about chronic pain, I'm reading these books that are like, you know, seven days to a pain free life or like the pain of uh, the chronic pain cure. And it, none of it is actually body or exercises. It's all mind. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh, fuck. Like, I realize <laughs> the world that I'm about to step into with researching and writing it, where I'm like, God damn it. It is exactly what you think it is. And why am I so bumping up against that a little bit, you know? And I think people probably bump up against this the same way that I did, where it was like, ah, it feels kind of silly. Exactly. But I like it. <laughs> but I, li- but that, I like that, it. I like it. Absolutely. I know our mind, I always think about, you know, if anybody is listening to this and I feel you with your journey, anybody listening to this who has, you know, chronic pain or something happening in their body, the, mm. literally 80% of people who come to me are because, something happened in there, either Mm. something imploded in their life or (laughs) their bodies imploded. And, Mm. um, you know, same thing for me, what led me to like my spiritual path is again, my body went through like a shutdown moment. Um, and Mm. what I appreciate about our bodies is they're miraculous. They're so powerful. They're so strong, but they're like this huge, 
like intuitive instrument we have. And it's like, Hey, let's figure something out together because we have big, epic, cool shit to do with the world. And like, we want to keep expanding and something in your body isn't like lining up. So let's get there because we can't ignore body stuff. We can ignore it when we're anxious. Our mind is going Mm -hmm. to places we can really like our mind is also very powerful of like steamrolling over all of like your emotions yeah. and how your body's feeling. Um, but your body, it's like, no bitch. Sit hello. Down. You're gonna, hello. I'm going to fucking you, take your ass down. If you don't listen, <laughs> you didn't even say you love me today. Uh, <laughs> how am I supposed to carry you around? You don't even know. You didn't even give me a kiss when we woke up. Exactly. I like 100%. Uh, but Oof. body wisdom is so important and it's sort of, it's, it's such a journey. It's ups and downs, but tapping into like the wisdom. I am someone who can lose my body really fast because I'm yeah. so in my mind. I'm like, yes. like doing a million things. You're creative. You're yes. multi passionate. Yes. You're buzzing around. You're hopped you up on the Dunkin' Donuts. Oh, bitch. I'm getting... tossing this. I'm not trying to do it. <laughs> and then, and then your body's like, yeah, but hello. What hello. about like me down here? And whenever I tap back into my body, I always have an immediate like gift or treasure or an aha moment or mm. okay, you're right. Everything's gonna be okay. Or that's that solution to that problem or ping. Like I'm trying to tell you something. That's why my yeah. body's feeling that way. Um, and making peace with that and like listening to your body is, it's so <sighs> hard to do you're gonna make me cry bitch i cannot we're not (laughs) told to do that because like our whole you know Mm. everything i do too i think about like self-love intuition pleasure is this like formula i'm always bouncing between of like how Mm. do we cultivate more of that in a really grounded sustainable Mm. accessible way um because those three things are like our society has been so geared to like have against us being it. self-loathing so we yep. like buy, buy more things and want to change mm-hmm. ourselves all the time we're so like weird about people and their intuition like everyone's yeah. like how, how do you know that they want like these proofs and facts and i'm like everything's made up okay like <laughs> this is just what my <laughs> self is telling us, me we are like, made up like who, what, what what am i supposed to benchmark my life on if not mm-hmm. my own inner guidance like I don't know. like and um i mean influence is the opposite of intuition we have a whole like Whoa. industry of like we're being influenced every corner and then um pleasure yeah. to me is just the biggest uh, living your life through the mm. lens of pleasure is i think the biggest middle finger fuck you act of rebellion <sighs> because it's like i do not want to guide my life through pressure anymore no i don't want to have my body be in a place of pressure i don't want to have my mind Ooh. there i don't want to run my business that way this is not to say you don't get shit done Amen. it's not to say you don't pick up yourself and take accountability yes. for yourself but can you do it and like feel good while you do it can you choose like Girl. pleasure can you oh like that those three things to me self-love intuition pleasure i always check in like how am i doing with those how am i living with those write that right now down y'all right. <laughs> write that down right now self-love <laughs> intuition and pleasure and check in on yourself yeah my voice just cracked when i said that because i think my body was like oh yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. keep going on that <gasps> keep fucking snorting that coke like jesus it's it's right there it's good for you um maddie seriously i could talk to you for fucking Mm, ever about this but like i also want to tell the confidants before i let you go that you have just like a plethora of places where you can get this information so can you like spout out tell us where we can find more what should we do how do we get more involved in what you're doing of course i love it so um we try to make a lot of things we do free and accessible yes. because that's me keeping i'm on all your free shit i love all the <laughs> honestly i love it i'm like everyone come to the party like yes. we'll someone will pay for this eventually but just yes come hang out. like yes um, proof of concept baby yeah exactly i'm like just come hang out um that was one thing when i started off i was like everything's so expensive if you want to like tap into this like we oh. can't all afford this what no are it's you not saying? fair so yeah, sign up. We have, um, I have come Instagram's always like the, I guess, like entry point for yeah. everything. So yeah. come Cos- the Cosmic Rx, Cosmic Revolution. And then from there, you'll see this handy dandy 917 number. You can text for these Get juicy it. affirmations. Do it. Every fucking day. Sign up for it. I that's dare the one you thing. to read I want those texts to and oh. not feel like a bad bitch. Like that's the whole point. It's um, impossible. And it's also, we started them too, because we were like, um, sometimes in the middle of COVID, like every time we looked at my phone, I was scared to look at my phone. Um, and I was like, what if we just had something that came in that was like, yes, nice. this is just day, an guaranteed. injection of serotonin. Every yeah, day serotonin. 
So start there and then you can go deeper with us. We have a community that we open up four times a year where we have Mm. like really affordable empowerment coaching and live moon circles and meditations (sighs) and breath work and all the cosmic (sighs) wellness goodies you need to step into like that game changer, rule breaker, change maker you are here to be. Um, So start, start there and you can find my personal at I am Maddie Murphy. It's just pictures of like my dog and my husband. Um, I love that. So it's not, it's also it's, that it's not very exciting, but I do answer my DMS and I'm just like, come hang out with me there. Yes. Uh, so yeah, start there. And if you need any guidance, our whole team just loves to like point people in the right direction, what they're looking for. Yes. Um, and we're just here to like, keep it weird. Keep yes. it weird, Keep it cosmic. Okay? Keep it witchy. Keep it cosmic. Maddie, this has been really fun. I know we're going to, I'm like, fun. I'm so also honored to meet like the person behind this thing that I've been so obsessed with. And like, you're exactly everything I was kind of hoping you would be. And I'm just like obsessed with you. I'm so glad we're going to be friends. Uh, There will be a thousand links below because truly you guys, like this is something that I like, if I could shout it from the rooftops has been such a, again, just like an addition prescription to my life that has done nothing but good things for me. So Maddie, thank you so much for coming on. Confidant, uh, you know, you can always find us at Confidently Pod. You can write us on email at confidentlyinsecurepodcast at gmail.com. Don't forget to rate this five stars. If it's not five stars, please don't rate it at all because I'm sensitive. Speaking I'm of sensitive. sensitive. You can find the merch in the link below and we will see you next week. Thanks, Maddie. Thank you. Thank you.